Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import invoices from a text or an Excel file into QuickBooks Online using Z Axis Online. So the first step in the process we can do is sign into our QuickBooks Online account. Now Axis uses the authentication from QuickBooks to log into your app. Select the company that you want to connect to and then connect. So the first screen that you'll see is the dashboard. Now this shows you an overview of how many invoices or transactions you've imported recently, as well as errors and and so on. So what we're going to do, because we're setting up a new import, we're going to select the axes menu, and then we're going to add a new ax. Now an ax is like a memorized format or template for importing these transactions. So I'm going to do Give the axis a name. Step one in the process is to upload a file that contains the invoices that you're going to import into QuickBooks Online. Now I have a text file containing those here and sample data. So let's click open. And then once that's done, I'm going to click save and the file will be uploaded into Axis Online. What you'll notice is when that does happen successfully, you'll get a message down below here. So once we've completed step one, we're going to move to step two. Now this is where we tell the template that whenever a file is uploaded using this template, then we need to create an invoice. And step three, we can go through and map the fields in QuickBooks to the fields, to the columns in your import file. So here we've got reference number against document number. And if it's marked with a exclamation mark, it means that that's a mandatory field. So you also see that these are grouped into the header section and then the table section and a footer section. So easier to see which fields appear where in QuickBooks. So we'll map these through, map against the customer. Now, there are many fields here. We don't need to map all of them. We're just going to map the key ones that we know we need to create an invoice. So we're going to put in the description. We can do the line amount and the item and the quantity. So we also have the option to put in constant values if we want, as well as create functions to translate or concatenate fields together. So once we've completed our mapping, we can actually then just see all the fields that we've mapped, hide the remainder, and we'll go through and we'll save that mapping. We have the option here to do order numbering as well. So I'll switch that on and we'll save that mapping. Once that's complete, We'll click next and we'll go through to the final and fourth stage, which is to preview the data that we've mapped before we import it into QuickBooks. Now here we have the option to edit any of this data if we want to, um, just by selecting the arrow, changing the quantity and confirming that as well. So we can go through and we can manipulate or change the data as we need to. Final step in the process is to click import to QuickBooks and the data will be validated, make sure it's in the correct format, and then we'll begin a process of importing that directly into your QuickBooks online company file. So you'll see in this import summary, the status of each of those records and whether they're imported or not. So you have a equally you can, once that's been imported, click view and it'll take you to the invoice directly in QuickBooks so you can see what data has been imported and the invoice that's been created for you. You also have the option to undo those if you want to remove them from QuickBooks, saying you want to redo the import. We can go back to our dashboard and we can see there's a summary of all the three invoices that we recently imported. So that's very simply how you create an ax for importing invoices through access online into your QuickBooks online company file.